So I had found her uh, when, like, around the time, like, Modern Warfare 2 came out. Mm -hmm. And, no, there's no, like, correlation between the music and what I was doing. But I had a knife set up. Um, and so I was playing the first set of music and was just going around and, like, knifing people and then, like, switching to a big shield that I had on my arm. And then yeah. just, like, kept going through that. And I had the best, like run ever in fucking call of duty it was crazy i was so good it was so fun i loved it that was great but yeah she has another she's like like whole sets and they're so so good um so anyway podcast over that was the shortest podcast we've had yet no <laughs> <laughs> we can go shorter. Podcast begin. What do you want to talk about? I don't got nothing. Podcast <laughs> over. <laughs> the end. <laughs> we should make that. You were gonna tell me something before you left, and then you came back and Was I? Was I? Was it about Oh. Shoes? Was it about Lunch? We, My dog? Uh, no, I think we were talking about shoes for a little while. <clears throat> um, I've been going back and forth on purchasing another set of those toe shoes I used to have. Oh. I mean, I still have them, but they're just they're starting to fall apart with how old they've gotten. Um, how long have you had those? Uh, I'm going to say maybe in a while for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, probably since like 2017, I would think. Hmm. Right? So that would have been 20 no, 20 2013, so uh, almost 10 years. Oh, that's pretty impressive. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So I I think I'm thinking about getting um getting them again. <laughs> I'm or, sure. um, like a, a new uh, version set of something. These are the shoes I was talking about. I'm the barefoot natch. They're only $160, but these are crazy looking. They're all leather. Mm hmm. <coughs> Obviously. Yeah, there's a little copper piece. Bink. And what do they say the copper? What's that? <clears throat> what do they say the copper's for? So the copper connects you to the Earth's energy. <laughs> um, okay. It's supposed to. It's it's called like grounding or something. Let's see. Okay, Rizal is inspired by the Mycorrhizal Network, a communication network in the soil where trees communicate with each other through their roots. And then... Okay, so here's the copper bit. So, Earth has a natural negative charge, which your ancestors were in sync with 24-7. When you spend all day indoors or wear rubber-soled shoes outdoors, you are now almost never grounded in sync with Earth's charge. Rizals have a pure 100% copper plug which goes through the sole of the shoe. Your foot is making contact with the copper, and the copper is making contact with the ground. The natural leather sole is fairly conductive on its own. As it is a biologically native material, the copper plug creates an undeniable connection. While they are designed to be worn without sots, you still will be grounded with most sots. It seems like a, <clears throat> a lot of uh, almost, almost facts. <laughs> With some of these. Um, leather being natively conductive doesn't really make any sense. 
because mm. leather is more or less like skin. <laughs> so, skin is conductive, is it not? Uh, I mean, not like, like very, I don't know, very little amount or or whatever. Or yeah. like it says, like you're almost never connected to like you know the either the your the Earth's charge or whatever. Mm. Like, touch your PC case, you're grounded. Okay, like because your PC is grounded and that grounding wire runs all the way out and then goes eight feet into the ground. <laughs> oh, from your house. Okay, so. So you're telling me I should just get a metal strap and attach it around my leg while I play video just, games? Shoot, man, just weld them on, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think uh, my opinion is uh, if it if it brings <laughs> happiness and peace to you, then you know that I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, okay. Oh. I don't know about but it's that. like, it just, I mean, for me, I'm just thinking like anytime I see like copper infused, it just takes me back to those stupid bands that they try to convince everyone that like this will heal you better because it has copper in it. And it's like, that's not bands. how that works. It's <laughs> not how any of this works. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it's neat that they talk about the, uh, the fungus, um, connection with uh with trees and stuff um that part is like uh is absolutely true the um trees will use uh fungi to communicate with each other using like electrical signals um, yes so they can like warn each other of like um mostly it's like if there's like an invasive species or like insects and stuff that are coming to eat them um so trees will do stuff like that they will um release uh specific smells or scents um that other trees can pick up on um, this is our. Out. I'm grounding right now. Even with this is our king soul bra. They're grounding shoes. Rizal, that little metal bit connects to the Earth's energy, and they're barefoot. You can see they're pretty wide. Leather, natural materials. It's not with barefoot. Really me. vibing these. Yeah. Check them out. I think at that point, I think I just need tougher te uh, tougher feet and just actually go barefoot. And not Dude, that's a, a lot of people. Shoes. A lot of people do do that. They like um, just keep um, strengthening like the calluses and stuff on the bottom of your feet, and then mm -hmm. they'll just go barefoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that might be the option. Then I don't have to spend one hundred and sixty dollars on shoes. Nice. Just don't wear two smile. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for the crumpled mess of a toe I'll have left to attempt to walk on. It's gonna be like uh David Goggins feet. But if you're interested in um in knowing more about trees and their ability to communicate, then I highly suggest the book The Hidden Life of Trees. Hmm. Okay. By I'll uh, have to uh purchase Peter Wallaben. Huh? I said I will have to purchase said book. 
it's wink, uh, wink. <laughs> it's a very it's a very good book. Um, and it just kind of talks about like uh, how forests kind of like work together and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's like other like really cool stuff that I didn't realize until this book kind of explained it. Like yeah. if you have a forest. Sometimes you'll have trees that are like taller than uh, than other trees, so they have like a uh, more surface area to collect more sunlight. Mm-hmm. Um, and instead of just using all of that sunlight for it itself, like all of the the sugars and stuff it gets from the um, from their chlorophyll, mm-hmm. uh, what it does is it actually shares that with um, the plants that are collecting less sun Mm -hmm. so it kind of like like forests and stuff kind of share the i i hate to use the word energy but they kind of share um the resources and stuff that they collect with with each other Mm -hmm. so that's why sometimes you can see like um trees that have been like chopped down but they're trunks or whatever still aren't completely rotting away and mm-hmm. it's because other trees are like actively supporting it still hmm. it's pretty nuts yeah, that's interesting and then um it's like trees they work best uh being near each other like in a forest because they're able to communicate faster um so that's why, uh, like, a tree that's, like, growing all by itself is, it's more likely for it to die because it's, it's kind of, like, isolating itself from the, from the community. So the community is helping take care of each other because it's, you know, letting each other warn each other, sharing resources, and you got the one tree all by itself and it can't get any warning or anything when they're being attacked by insects and stuff. Try to see if I find in this book where it talks about the the fungi. Do this book has a index. Page fifty. Go there. This guy. Does this guy anything for us? There's a new video game out. Another new video game. Yep. Every day learn that we don't need any more video games. There it is. Do we have enough as it is? <laughs> True. Yes, we do. <laughs> but this one is... Uh, it's uh, Sons of the Forest. Do you know? What the hell was that? What? That? Or this? Uh, I'm still seeing the, the YouTube on the old Discord, but on the stream, uh, some kooky, some kooky faces that popped up and, uh... Kooky faces? Kooky faces. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about, man. It's it's a little laggy, so if you just click through them, I'll let you know what which number it is. 
Wait, you can you see my Steam? <laughs> no, I can't see Steam. Oh, I don't know what you're. I don't know where. Number five. Huh? Picture number five of eleven. Yeah. <laughs> There's a kooky face. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying now. Okay. It's made out of metal. Yeah. Why? Because he's the bad man. Oh my god, killing sea turtles. Miss Thunberg wouldn't like that very much. No reviews, man. Wait, is this game even out? 23. What's today? It's the 23. It's out today. There's no reviews for it. <laughs> That's a little weird. Yeah. I might be down. Maybe. We gotta get through the Steam of Terraria first, though. Maybe the price will go down. <laughs> By the time we finish uh, six months of Terraria content. Dude, yeah, Terraria, there's so much in there. I'm like, yeah, starting the game fresh, and I'm like running into stuff I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, it gave me the uh, the option to do... <clears throat> uh, there's the Corruption, and then there's another one. It's called like the Crimson or something. Oh, yeah. I went with the Corruption, just because... I mean, but whatever. That's the one we know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, eventually, you know, we'll go back and do the Crimson Run and see how that goes. Um, that'll be like our new game plus, you know, because we can carry oh, our characters. Yeah, I'm down. Over. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember, I think it depends on. We might be able to carry our characters over. So what we could do is we could try to set it up so then, when we transition to the Crimson World, maybe we like choose a hot bar of stuff that we want to bring with us oh yeah definitely i think that'd be kind of kind of neat so that we don't have to grind through some of the <laughs> beginning part again yeah so me and uh me and josh dug down pretty deep last night yeah yeah it was hellish um i lost <laughs> so much money um but we, I, I found a weapon and he found a weapon. His weapon, I don't really remember what it was, but I found like a, a flail, like mace type deal. Mm -hmm. And like, I can spin it around me and it like does damage all around me. So nothing can touch me. <clears throat> and then I can also like let go and it'll like fling it out. It's pretty crazy. You like throw it almost. It was really neat. So... But, you know what's funny is I never played the game enough like you guys did. Mm -hmm. I still have no idea how to make, like, a grapple or, like, one of those vine grapple things. You know what I'm talking about? I, I forgot that was a thing, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, like, the little, uh... Because I remember you guys would, like... You guys would, like, tether yourselves out of a cave, and I would have to, mm -hmm. like place wood platforms like every five feet yeah and so you guys would be like back at the house and i'd still be like halfway coming up to the cave miserable times i love that grapple that that's yeah well <laughs> learn to make it fast is uh i am uh i am lost we have to go get hooks to do that though i'm pretty sure um do you remember how to make a hook hooks let's see here i believe we have to get them from we have to get them from the jungle oh god oh i ran into <laughs> a, a mushroom land i don't know if that helps us at all yeah okay yeah it's in the cave are you ready do you want to play now or like i mean you're busy yeah no, I mean, I'm a little bit, but not really. Like, this would be the, <laughs> the time I'm not going to be busy. 
So I've, I'm cool to play now. I'll just probably have to every so often jump out, like, um, and just do like a phone call stuff. But oh, okay. All right. I mean, that's I've been I've been messing around in it all day. <laughs> In, the, in my own little world. <coughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, I don't want that music. That's for sure. <laughs> it's not very Terraria-like. <laughs> yeah, no. Playlists. Do they have a salsa playlist? Bright, funky, happy, inspirational, dark, calm. Oh, here we go. Sort by genre. Children's music, rock Sword music. by John. Reggae music. I'm mining deep, deep holes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all this, man. Uh, I mean, is there not? Time. Is there not like a copyright music checker thing? Like fucking. Uh, our online will check music licenses. You have 10,000 free songs to use. Okay. I'll take it. Subscribe. Uh, no. Okay. How to know... Music is copyrighted. Like in YouTube, click create. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I'll check if a song is copyrighted on Instagram and Facebook. Nope. Twitch. Nope. You are exposed to copyright strike. Well, that's fine. Let's, uh, we'll run with it. Fuck it. Oh, shit. I was supposed to be. Monster Hunter. Today. Um, you can join <coughs> our Terraria. <laughs> Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with, with whatever. With Durin jumping into our Terraria game? Yeah. Okay. You may you may start it over. It's forty minutes long, so I mean, you know. The music. El Musica. What? 